Get this right here. Virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. Why are you virgins? I grew up like Christian, so well, my mom was the main one that was like, make sure you wait, make sure you wait, and so mm. I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. Uh, for me, I grew up religious like you, but I'm 20 now, so even for the past three years, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the religious aspect anymore, I'm just bad with women. Keep it real, I'm Muslim. For me, it's like, why not just wait? Bad women. This, I, used, to, used to be me. I'm not bad with women, who I have a girlfriend, you know. Damn, what am I? Let me focus. Focus. Not bad with women. I'm good. I'm, I'm Wait great. and do it through the Sharia. Do it through you the. You know, some people that's bad with women. It's not worth going to hellfire for me. So for like, me, it's kind of a lot of reasons. One, I was a super late bloomer. I only felt sexual attraction for the first time like four years ago. Looking like I do, women usually aren't like bursting to get down on this. So I haven't had anything sort of just like fall into my lap. Yeah, it's, it's not a priority right now. Does, it, does anyone know about sexual transmutation? No. Essentially, the desire you have to have sex is a very strong desire. Especially if you're a man, put it into the work. Put it into the gym. Watch what will happen. You will hit every goal. So that's kind of my reason. Yeah. Nice. I want to do it because I generally like want something from you and with you, not for just a simple like. So. Oh. Bro, bro, hold on, bro. So, so sexual transmutation is basically self love. Sexual transmutation is self love. Okay, that, that's that's the aspect I'm getting. So it has nigga said the man with the biggest well. bread, like bread. Nah, bro, nah, bro. That nigga was, was to, he was tuning into his Andrew Tate shit, bro. Reasonable, reasonable. I'm underlining reasonable service. It's a gift that I want to give to my future wife. How old is everyone here, by the way? 22. 20. 22. 22. 23. 26. I'm 32. 32. Dude, respect to you, man, for waiting. Three, two, and you ain't never. Wait, let's talk about that, though, because if you are not married by 32, you will still be a virgin, correct? Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. Ain't finna do me like that. Me. Me. Ain't no way you 32 and a virgin. I'm, <laughs> sure. I'm 32 ain't no and a virgin. virgin. I'm just yeah. gonna keep it. Fun. It seemed like he wanted to present the extreme of his religion. Ah, shit. Uh. <laughs> Tell us how you felt. Oh. It was black, black. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm gonna ask you. Like, you're yeah. 32. How does that go? How does it go? It goes. It goes rough. I mean, my body is ready. I want that. I want to be married. But I put more value on my walk with the Lord and my future wife. Have you been in those opportunities where, like, maybe? I could have had many opportunities, but I keep myself away from those types of things. Has no, everybody dated before, or have you guys had significant others? I I've only had one girlfriend. So. Yeah, me too. I've only had one girlfriend. I've had two. Uh, I've had a handful. <laughs> I never really had an official boyfriend, okay. but like I had. Seen, oh, like, two he's. People, yeah. So I'll go oh, out like on dates and whatnot. Uh, I just didn't know. Nothing really official. And have you guys kissed or? Kissed? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Nothing beyond. Uh, got you. Got you. Got you. One of my long uh, relations was entirely long distance. She was in Portugal the whole time. Oh, wow. So like my lips don't really stretch across the ocean very well. <laughs> have you guys ever fell in love before? For sure. Okay. Really? Even though you never dated anybody? Yeah, for sure. Or... I'm, I'm a very passionate person. When I was younger, um, obviously you have like those high school crushes and whatnot. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it. What, what, what you mean while I, po I pointed? I don't even remember pointing my boy. But if I did, bro, I ain't mean nothing about it. By myself, it's like 120K. I open up. Whoa, ho. Then got the biggest brick. Bro, see, bro. I think this is what Andrew Tate be talking about, bro. Stop, stop striving for sex. 
And dude was great. This thing just said. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it by myself. It's like 120K. I opened my own company. And that's all because I've stayed focused and not let myself become a part of, you know, like what's going on in society. I have a question for you in the last five seconds. I, I feel like a lot of people accomplish a lot of things while still having sex and you just make time for it or you can just like fap and forget about it like yeah, yeah but when they when they do engage in that type of stuff they go through a heartbreak they could be successful but they have to had like this battle before or all that happened that nigga spitting bro that nigga spitting he said fuck beating my dick fuck having sex i'm getting bread in the gym Nigga, get into the bag, bro. Kept talking about like his mind. He's grindset. getting to he the bag. Of, like, American Psycho. He's and getting guy... to the bag. Everybody from the vote him up. Dang, that's crazy. Bro, that nigga I, I built, I bro. Uh, right away, but I've had naked woman climb on top of me, and I I still say no. And then the next day, I go submit three loans and make like ten thousand dollars. Interesting. Cool. Um, do you think the mole <laughs> is still in the box? But he had the interview thinking about his life, bro. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, do you think right. the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game? Please raise your hand. Wow. Oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were going to raise your hand. I have a bit of a accusation. Okay. And I, I so think it's him. I think that you made a mistake and you're here rather to promote that virginity till marriage would have been the better option yeah. i've definitely been in the situations where uh, me and my girlfriend were making out and, and there definitely were scenarios that we could have uh, gone farther than that this is gonna sound bad but i'm just too scared of my mom to be like hey i had sex <laughs> but you only didn't have sex because of your mom when i turned 16 17 that was when um i really started uh, diving into the bible and and reading more into it and, and kind of creating it for my own and so what uh, denomination is your church? I'll be honest with you. I don't know which denomination it is, but um, okay. we're Christians, so okay. I'll say okay. that. Okay. But <laughs> he didn't know what his denomination was. Like, I feel like every religious person knows what their denomination is. He I don't think every about person knows. Way more than I do, and I know that my denomination, like the back of my hand, what I the don't is a tell denomination? anyone that I'm a virgin. It's definitely something I really keep under wraps because I feel very like... Me personally, my boy. He ain't got to tell us. We know. You, you sleep look like he tried to steal some chipmunks, my boy. Not not even fun to hold you, bro. Like, 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 hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. What was his name, bro? Bro, bro y'all not finna sit here and tell me that they don't look alike, bro. Niggas trying to steal some chipmunks, bro. It's a shame. I feel like embarrassed and ashamed of it, like I've failed somehow. Once when I was in college, I was in this creative writing class and the teacher declared pause, your next assignment is to tell the true story of your first kiss. And I was like, oh. God. And then she followed with, I know you've all had it. And it was like, oh, double God. <laughs> I do, yes. Wait, no, he, he just said professor. Failed somehow. Once when I was in college, I said. But he, he bro, he said he had two girlfriends, though. He, he said he had two girlfriends, but he failed. He wrote just because he couldn't tell. Bro, you know what, bro? This nigga lying, bro. In this creative writing class and the teacher this nigga class, your next assignment is to tell the true story of your first kiss and i was like oh god and then she followed with i know you've all had it and it was like oh double god <laughs> i do yes admit that i feel pressured to have sex because everyone else is talking about their guy the girl and i'm like okay i'm just like what the f you know like well, i've been in band my whole life starting in middle mm. school and i'm still Okay, it, 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 it might be them. If you hadn't heard about band kids, you, you, you should, bro. And anybody that's in band, it was overly sexual, 
Bro, just, bro, just if you know somebody that was in band, ask him about the back of the bus coming back from a game where they had to perform, bro. Just ask him. Still in my college marching band. It's actually kind of uncommon when you say, oh yeah, I'm not a virgin. They'll be like, they'll kind of look at you like, <laughs> you play clarinet and you've had sex? <laughs> uh, growing up, I played football my whole life. And so that was a very big deal, especially at the high school I went to. I would say definitely at that time, I felt the pressure of just society saying like, dude, you haven't had sex? Just go for it. It's easy. I would rather wait. I'd rather wait. That's me. Hey, I'm, I'm you sorry about that. Room and completely forget why you're there. Yeah. I just felt like what Aaron said was really smart, and it felt like a big CSI moment. So I was like, "Oh, he definitely got him. That's it." Bummer, bummer, bummer. I wish I had like a virgin card I could show you guys or something. But... If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I'm just super curious why you two, I guess, didn't want to continue. Because I think it was Alex. Yeah, right. I think we are virgins. Yeah, I thought that what you said during the last round was super smart. It felt like a big CSI moment. It's like, oh, if you're wrong, then like, I don't trust anything anymore. I think you definitely had the vibe of like a band kid who hasn't done it yet, which I can say because I used to be a band yeah. kid. What'd too. you play? I played trombone. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but so you guys oh, yeah. think so, there's yeah. still a... Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Aaron, I think it's you. And, and respectfully, like, respectfully. Sure, sure. I think it's because you're imposing what you are on, onto what Alex was. And that's maybe what you did, and I'm thinking that you're, mm, what's it it's called? It's not. One more thing is just that because of, you know, your age and everything, and I don't yeah. think age is, that's okay. it should matter. That's okay. Like, it's hard to believe, um, yes. Do you, I guess, like, what was your longest relationship? About a year, a little yeah. over a year. And then was there times where she wanted to, like, escalate it? Because I know you're, you know. I've only dated Christian okay. women. Right. And so they've also wanted to maintain a oh. certain level of purity. Mm -hmm. Cool. Ominous. It just seemed like he wasn't as confident as he was in the previous round, so I was like, okay, he gotta go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. If you think the mole's still in the box and you wish to continue playing, please raise your hand. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Three, two, one. What? It's you, huh? No. It's you. You, you weren't no, surprised. You no, weren't surprised. You. you weren't surprised. No. You looked right at us. No. You weren't surprised. I knew it. Count of three, I knew it. Please step out. One, two, three. What up, y'all? Yeah. E <laughs> e <laughs> e he good, like, oh, I wanted to... I told you. To see him, but then the way he was talking, I'm like, nah. But, turns out, he get hella meow meow. Well played. <laughs> that was well played. I believed everything that you said. I mean, most of what I said was true. Those those personal stories, they were from before oh, I, you know, it, did the hockey. I, see, I, see, I, see. I trusted him. I was like, oh, he plays trombone, I play clarinet, we're good. Wait, so I knew it. You have I called it. Um, Come like on, bro. With, of that not eight times with eight different people. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. He get meow, meow. The big thing, the most important thing that I'll probably say today, and that's to all of the young men out there who don't look conventionally attractive and feel like they will never find love or sex because of it. No matter what you look like, there are plenty of people who are into that. It's just up to you to find them, treat them with respect, have good hygiene, You'll be just fine. That and also be funny. Be funny, bro. Cause listen, women love a nigga that can make them laugh. You can laugh them up out their panties, bro. You just gotta be funny. Oh my god! Celebrate with your cash winning. You. Hey, you just gotta be funny, bro. You just gotta be funny. That's all I gotta say, bro. But 